Today's video is a little based on what I bought this Christmas. I bought my children a couple of these. So now in the house I have four of these. Now I was going to go for a Lenovo Tab 3 7 inch for the kids and I decided to get these because these were an unbelievable deal. The kids were so used to using Google Play. My three year old and my four year old, all of the children knew exactly how to navigate through Google Play. So what I decided to do was to do a proper video on how to install Google Play. This will work with both Amazon's Fire Tablet and their Fire HD. There's a list of apps. As you scroll to the bottom, right here is Google Play. Step one, what we need to do is on the home screen, click on to settings. From your settings screen, find device options. You'll see your device serial number. So when you find your serial number or your device serial number, what you need to do is click it seven times. So each time you click it, it will highlight and flash. Now, if this process has been done correctly, scrolling underneath the serial number, you'll see developer options. Now, from within this menu, what we need to do is find the setting that reads ADB. When you find ADB, click the slider switch so it's highlighted in yellow to indicate that the setting is active. What this will allow us to do later is when we connect it via USB to a PC, we can get the appropriate software to communicate with the tablet. Now what we need to do is download a couple of bits of software. We need to download ADB from the XDA website. Now there's a link that I'll put in the video description which is directly from a forum post. That and you know what, I've downloaded it, I've used it, it works absolutely fine. As always, scan it with your own antivirus. Secondly, we need a zip file. Now inside it, you'll have the Root Junkie Super Tool app and the actual file that you need to install Google Play. So our next step is to get a micro USB cable, connect it onto your Fire tablet or your Fire HD tablet, plug the other end into a USB port on your PC. On the top of your tablet, it should say uh, debugging mode connected. So our next step is to extract the contents of the SuperTool zip file into its own folder somewhere on your desktop or somewhere on your PC and you want to launch a batch file within that once you've extracted it there will be one labelled one install play store. Launch that file and you will see a little black screen pop up that will look a little bit like this. On this menu, we want to press option number one. This will install the appropriate driver for the software to communicate with the tablet. Once this is done, it should throw you back to the original menu that we're looking at now. Now that we've done this, what we want to do is select option number one. Option number one is to install Google Play Store onto your Amazon tablet. Now what it will do, it will show you a list of available connected device. Your tablet should be on this list, highlighted like this. So now it's time to get excited. It's installing the software from the PC onto your tablet. Nothing will show up on the screen. It'll just be black and blinking away. Leave it five minutes. After that, disconnect the micro USB from your tablet and then reboot your tablet. And Google Play is on your apps list. So I've rebooted the tablet. Here we go. Let me show you guys that this is fully functional. This is not like downloading an APK file with an OTG cable and installing one app at a time. Here is Google Play, quite clearly working absolutely perfectly. Now the links that I will put on the video description are exactly what I use. And let me show you, I'll install a game quickly. Uh, zombies versus whatever the hell this happens to be. This theme's quite popular. Now I can't guarantee that the games will run 100% as they would on any other tablet because these tablets are quite weak when you think about the specs. But you know what, I've tried running uh, Subway Surfers and some other games that you could automatically download off Amazon themselves. So check it out. Let's see if this will run. This is one of the uh, top games. And as you can see, I'm very happy. I didn't actually think this was going to work. I read about it on the XDA forums. I've read about it some other places. But you know what, I thought I'd give it a go. Chances are, you should note that chances of bricking your tablet is quite minimal. Now, unless you do something really bad and you don't follow the instructions or you decide to download a file that is corrupt or something like that, use the links and download the correct files and follow the step-by-step -step guide. Just rewatch the video if you need to. Helps me out a lot as well. So, guys, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Here's to a great 2017. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like. It really does help. And maybe even consider subscribing. Until next time, thanks for watching.